Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and this week we are training the Belgian Malinois. Now here at Animal Watch we are blessed to have filmed with some of the best working line Malinois in the world. From abseiling with dogs with Wolfstan kennels to being part of a poacher track and takedown in Old Pejeta alongside hero Malinois Diego. This week we are meeting another ultimate Belgian Malinois expert, Michael Rogerson of the Tactical Canine family on Instagram. His dogs are trained to be elite army dogs and responsive in every way. Do you want to find out how you two can train your dogs to be as obedient as Michael's? Well then don't turn off, as we've got the starter's guide to amazing training techniques that you two can do. Now I've met some pretty impressive Malinois. These dogs are now considered to be the ultimate super soldiers of the world, having taken over in many areas from the German Shepherd due to their lightning reactions, light transportable frame, extreme intelligence and unbelievable bite force. Owning a Malinois is not for the average person and certainly not a working line where dozens are given up every year due to people leaving them alone with no stimulation and finding that the dog has wrecked their house and worse still is unbearably unhappy without something challenging to do. Hence their nickname, the Maligator. These dogs have teeth and boy can they use them, but they equally have brains and if you are a good teacher, you can teach them to turn these teeth on and off. Now, even show Malinois need huge amounts of exercise, but if you are here today and convinced that you have what it takes to be an active and interactive owner to one of these super soldier working line dogs, then sit down, get a notepad out and be ready to learn some amazing commands that will set you on the path to training a dog which can only be described as extraordinary. Michael Rogerson lives in Germany and runs an astounding Instagram page with over 100,000 eager Malinois fans. His videos are not only shot to perfection, his training techniques are easy to learn, clear to view and interesting to watch. His dream was to always have a dog that is well trained and also equal in behaviour to the special forces dogs. He values the dog as an important part of the family, to have amazing adventures with them and to create beautiful and never forgettable memories. His training techniques show that you can have a working line Malinois just as long as they are happy, busy, healthy and excited. All of his dogs are part of the family and do not work as a living. He simply enjoys training them up to army and police standards. So let's start. You've got your brand new puppy and he's eager to learn. So today we are starting right at the basics in order to gently and kindly guide him into what we hope will lead him on to being able to do some astounding things. Here at Animal Watch, we only work with positive training methods and never support the use of pain or negativity in our videos. So be kind to your puppy and the more fun it is, the quicker he'll learn and love you. As some of Michael's videos are in German, we will give you an English commentary to guide you through them. Food Luring So you have your new puppy and you need to work out their motivation. Most dogs are either food or toy motivated. Say your puppy is food motivated. You can keep some of his favorite food in your hand and use this to gently guide him into doing what you are asking him for. Just like Michael here is demonstrating with his small puppy. This is called food luring. You can use the food to help guide your dog through a few basic commands like coming back to you, keeping eye contact with you, sitting and lying down. You can see that even commands such as walking backwards and turning left and right can be achieved through this technique. Make sure to say the command as the dog is doing it. Sit, down, 
stand, etc. He will gradually learn to associate what you are saying with the action. You can bring movement and turns into your food luring so that the puppy gets used to following your hand and changing direction. See how this training will eventually result in the adult dog automatically walking with you and following your commands, with his focus completely on you. By this stage, food is not needed. Focus. Now, in order to guide our puppy, we need his attention to be on us. To do this, we need to guide him to focus on us. Here we can see Michael asking his puppy to look. Once the puppy has held the eye contact, he is rewarded. Gradually, you can lengthen the time he looks at you. But start by rewarding frequently the moment the puppy does what you want. Sit and lie down. After your puppy has learned food luring techniques and focus training, you can leave longer and longer gaps between giving the treat as a reward. Concentrating on the puppy successfully accomplishing the basic commands and longer and longer eye contact before reward. If the puppy is still unsure, the food luring can still be used to guide him down into the sit or lie down position. Remember to not keep repeating the command. The command must be clear and concise. Sit. Stay. Down. Once the puppy has completed the exact command, only then reward. If the puppy is unsure, use the food to lure them into the command you wish them to do. Finally, you can add in hand signals and challenge your dog by removing the verbal command. Once your dog has mastered this, you know that he truly understands you. This is good for control in noisy environments. Talking of noisy distractions, it is great to take training out into public so that your dog learns to respond to you in all environments. You can walk him through a mall, down a road, and every now and then give him a command just to make sure that his attention is on you at all times. Different obstacles. While your puppy is in the food luring stage, you can progress him outside onto different flooring and even obstacles and different heights. As you can see, Michael is always gentle and encouraging. Always use positivity in your training, and if something goes wrong, simply start again, ignoring the error. We want our puppy to always feel like it's fun and that he's learning in a loving environment. As he gets older, you can take him more and more into public places so that you can train your puppy to become brave with distractions. This is all great character building exercises which will lead on to a confident dog who trusts in you for leadership. You can even bring water play into his socialization so he becomes super confident in wet environments. Gradually accepting obstacles can progress onto jumping onto small heights on his own and into and out of boxes as shown here. Teaching your puppy to go to basket. A great command is teaching your puppy to go to an object. This can be his basket. So you are able to ask him to go lie down in his basket quietly. You can see here that Michael uses food as a lure to take him to the basket. When the puppy comes back, he then throws the food again, so the puppy knows to go away to the object and then he gets rewarded. Food control. Now your puppy has learned to go inside or to an object. This becomes useful when teaching your puppy good behavior around food. Many people prefer to give their dogs space to eat. So going inside a pen is a great idea. Your puppy will feel safe here and can eat quietly with no pressure. Michael uses the command to go to the object, the dog pen, as previously shown, and wait for the food. The training can extend to wait before eating and wait before being allowed back out. All good training which creates good manners in puppies and adults who can be hyperactive. If you prefer to feed your dogs outside of the pen, commands can be given to wait and be patient before eating like demonstrated here. This can help with food aggression and rushing to eat. Returning on command. 
One of the most important commands we need to teach our puppy is to come. We want to be in control of our dog at all times in a public place, keep him safe, away from roads, and any dogs or dangers we feel threaten him. To do this, we need to teach the puppy to sit, stay, and then come on command. The early stages are simply getting the puppy to sit and maintain contact with us as we walk a few steps away. The distance can be gradually extended. Reward the puppy only when he comes on command. If he comes back prematurely, take him back to his starting spot and start all over again. This can eventually be moved out into a public place like this. We have shown you some very basic puppy commands today, but all are fundamental exercises to build a strong and obedient adult. Gradually, other tactical commands can be added in, but at this stage, we are confidence building so that your dog trusts you to guide him and is having fun while experiencing new environments. The key ingredients are love and kindness. We want the puppy to adore you as well as respect you. So be kind, be consistent and be calm at all times. Make sure you reward your puppy with his favourite toy or food and lots and lots of praise. We will be revealing to you more of Michael's videos on Animal Watch, which will show you how movement can be brought into a puppy's training. Also how to hit a target, accept muzzles and goggles and to balance on objects and jump into your arms. Well, I hope this week you enjoyed learning some basic commands alongside Michael, who I hope will be a regular contributor to this channel. If you would like to um, find out more about some other training techniques, then please write in the box below and I'll see what I can do about getting some of our experts onto Animal Watch to show you how it's done. And if you would like to find out more about Michael, his website is here. It is in development, so stay tuned until it is up and running www.tactical-canine-family.com In the meantime, you can find him here on Instagram at tactical underscore canine underscore family. And if you enjoyed this episode of Animal Watch, then be sure to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button in the bottom hand corner and be sure to tune in every single week when we will be bringing you more amazing episodes on dogs, wolves, animal rescue and conservation. Bye for now.